subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel. This time, the Space Gray iPhone XS that was just launched today, I decided to go with the 64 gigabyte as this is not going to be my main iPhone, but I did pick one up because I was actually not going to get this. But many of you said you do want to see the smaller iPhone XS. And I've been reading your comments. You also said, I want to see the 10R. So that's going to be coming later next month. Let's go ahead and peel this off. And as usual, you can go ahead and pause and read if you want to know what comes in the box. It's basically the same as every year, besides the fact that this one now no longer has a dongle in the box like last year did with the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus. So let's go ahead and open this up and you can see more Apple pamphlets. It's basically the same box in every single iPhone. So it's nothing new. Anytime you get an iPhone, if you've had one before, it's basically a consistent experience every single year. But here we are. It looks like they got a little bubble on the iPhone right there, right out of the box. So that's a little on Apple like, but you can see space gray iPhone 10 S looks just like the space gray iPhone 10 of last year. But I decided to go with this color because last year I had the white model or the silver model, you could say of the iPhone 10. So let's go ahead and get this thing booted up and I'll be back when I got my information and everything put in to the device. Okay, so before we talk more about the iPhone XS over here, let's take a look at the contents remaining in the box. These are some lightning headphones, so no dongle, like I said earlier, in this anymore. You do have your standard lightning cable and a non-fast charging brick here, $999 or $1,000 for a 5.8 inch iOS device that doesn't give you a fast charger now by comparison you can buy something like a samsung galaxy s9 for way less than this and it comes with a fast charger so i think apple if you're watching this you need to start putting fast chargers in your box customers have been asking for this for a long time but you don't want to listen so when are you going to listen? That's what I got to say. Okay, so taking a closer look at the design, it looks basically identical to the iPhone 10 that it replaces. But up at the top, you can see you now have yourself an antenna line there. And at the bottom, you do have an antenna line off to the left. Now you can see there's a little bit more holes for the speaker on the iPhone 10, And that's really going to be up to you whether you care about that or not. It's going to feel like going from an iPhone 6 to an iPhone 6S. It's basically the same exact looking phone. The difference is processors are more advanced these days. So it's not going to feel like such a generational leap in the processing performance and the day to day use like the 6 was to the 6S. Okay, so we are now into the iPhone XS. Let's go into settings here and show you that we do have the 64 gigabyte version. There's an available 52.85 gigs if you do go with this one. It's running iOS 12 out of the box. And man, if you were using an iPhone 10, like I said before, and I'm gonna say it again, is it the same? Yes, I mean, if you look at it from the front, you can barely tell the difference. We got the A12 Bionic chipset in the iPhone XS. You also have a slightly improved camera on the rear, but definitely gonna be an improved camera there. You might get a little bit better battery life or similar. I don't know, we'll have to see in the real world. Usually a more efficient chip means better battery life, so I'll be testing that out. But what's really nice though, is if you did have an iPhone 10 and you are gonna be upgrading, I'm pretty sure most of your cases will fit from the iPhone 10 over to the iPhone 10s. So that's a good thing if you are just gonna do this upgrade from 10 to 10s. But I have a feeling most people are not gonna do this upgrade. So let's go to the camera and take a look at the portrait mode. So in this portrait mode, you're gonna be able to blur it manually. But seriously, I can't really see any other differences besides what's under the hood. But what's under the hood can make this a longer lasting phone in the long run. So if that matters to you, you will enjoy the 10s. So now I just quickly wanna take a look at some size comparisons between the 10s and some other devices. So so if you pick up the iPhone XS, here's how it looks next to a Galaxy S9. It's a very similar size to that device. So, so if you're coming from an S9 to an iPhone 10, it's actually a little shorter. It's going to be just about the same to manage. Now here is a Galaxy S8. If you're upgrading from a Galaxy S8, you get a little bit shorter and a similar size. So it's going to be very similar to manage that as well. Now, if you're coming from a Google Pixel 2, you can see very similar size, the Pixel 2 being a little bit taller than this iPhone XS right here. And then what about an iPhone 7? I have a feeling a lot of people might be upgrading 
from an iPhone 7. I think this is actually a good upgrade if you have an iPhone 7 and you're coming to a 10s. This is a nice update for you as it'll feel more premium and a bigger screen and a same similar size body. You can see almost the same size body there. So if you could manage a 7, you could definitely manage an iPhone 10s. Now taking a look at the 10s versus the older plus size phone, you can see. So you're gonna see you're gonna get a lot more screen for a much smaller body. So this can be a nice update if you just had enough of these plus size phones. But if you do like your plus size phones, I did get the Max. We'll be covering that more on the channel. But taking a look at it, I'm gonna leave it in the case real quick. The iPhone XS Max is the big boy compared to the 10s and pretty much every other competing large Android phone will be a lot bigger to handle than the 10s. So there's not much more to talk about. It comes with iOS 12 out of the gate, 5.8 inch OLED display. It does have more natural looking colors on the 10s, A12 Bionic chipset, and uh, this thing just gonna have a more improved smart HDR camera. But we're gonna have to speed test this to other phones to see if it's gonna be worthy updates. So be sure to get all your questions, comments, concerns, feedback on the smaller 10s, what you would like to see on this device down below. And if you haven't seen my Max unboxing, I just dropped it earlier, check that one out if you're more interested in the Max device. And that's it. If you found this video entertaining, informing, and